Question 6. A student used thin layer chromatography to analyze the mixture containing different metal cations. And the students repeats the experiment using different solvents. Okay, so this one, uh, this figure 6.1 is the chromatogram show when the student use water as a solvent. Okay, and this is a solvent front. So um, the distance is from 0 to 5 cm. Okay, so different spot here that they were discussed. Um, <clears throat> part A1 suggests a compound that could be used as a stationary phase in this experiment. Uh, TLC normally we will use two compounds. Uh, either is the uh, SiO2 or the alumina. Normally we use SiO2. Coated on the um, normally is a glass plate. Okay, part two. Table six point one shows the um, RF values for different metal cation when separate by TLC using water as a solvent. So the RF values all given. So we know that okay. Uh, now what is the question first? Okay, suggest the identity of the cation that caused the spot at M in Figure six point one. Uh, six point one is uh, this figure six point M. Uh, so we know that the spot is uh, at uh, this uh, two cm. Two cm um, then is two over the water front. So the, oh, sorry, the uh, solvent front. So two over five. Okay, so we know that is uh, 0 0.4. 0 0.4, then we have to check the table. Uh, 0 0.4 is cadmium. So we know that the M means this one is uh, should be cadmium ion, right? Because the RF value is same, same as what we calculated just now, 0 0.4, right? So uh, it's cadmium ion because its RF value of uh, the M is 2 over 5, which is same as 0 0.4. Right in the table. Okay, part B. The student repeats the experiment using butane one O as a solvent. Uh, this is less polar compared to water, uh, so that's why the cation might not really uh, interact well with this uh, organic solvent. So the metal cation do not travel as far up uh, the TLC plate in this experiment. Suggest why metal cation do not really move uh, as far up uh, the TLC plate when we use butane one O. Uh, it's very easy because butane one O is organic solvent, right? So it's less polar. Okay, so metal cation less soluble in the butane one O. So therefore, it will not really bring up by this solvent. Or you can say that because the metal ions uh, or metal cations, okay, is have the weak ion dipole forces with butane 1O. Okay, ion means the cation, dipole means the, the molecules, right? the dipole uh, forces of the molecules. Okay, the students spray the TLC plate in the figure 6.1 with the KSN, uh, sorry, SCN equals. So we know that uh, in this uh, solution, uh, this is the ligand. The color of some spot change okay, as some of the metal cation undergo ligand exchange. Identify the ligand involved in the ligand exchange. Of course, uh, initially all will be the ligand all will be water, and the water now exchange with the new ligand, the SCN negative. Okay, part D. In the third experiment, the pH of the mixture of metal ion is keep constant using buffer solution. Now the student prepared the buffer solution by mixing 20 cm cube of 0 0.15 mole per dm cube KLH and 50 cm cube of 0 0.1 mole per dm cube C8H5O4K. Uh, so the <clears throat> C8H5O4K means this this one, right? So in this structure, it has one carboxylic acid group. So it will react with the KOH and form this salt. So this one is the acid 
acid and this is the salt that form remember huh? this is a very important concept acid form the salt now and the pKa now is given 5.4 from here we can get the Ka later okay now complete the equation for the reactions of the C8H5O4K with KOH so very easy you just put this one plus KOH then it will form this right C8H4O4K2 this one plus H2O remember to put this on huh? H2O okay so after that you have to do the calculation uh, this calculation is quite uh, uh, challenging uh, so you have to understand how to do it um, okay so first you have to calculate the most of the calcium sorry the potassium hydroxide that used so use mv over thousand so you get the mole of koh that used and calculate the initial mole of the acid means this one this one uh, so follow the information use mv over thousand so you get this mole five times ten of the negative three so we know that KOH will react with the acid here to form the salt. So at equilibrium, the salt means this one. Okay, this one. That form will same as the mole of the KOH that used. So same mole. And the acid means this one will reduce because uh, some of that reacts with the KOH. So reduce by what amount? So we use 5, the initial mole, minus 3 times 10 power of negative 3. So we'll get the mole of acid. So it's 2 times 10 power of negative 3. So now we got the most of acid and we got the most of the salt. So we can uh, calculate the pH already. But before that, we have to get the Ka value from pKa pKa equal to negative log Ka so we can get the Ka value so it just uh, the Ka is equal to the 10 power negative 5.4 so you get this 3.98 times 10 power negative 6 okay substitute this Ka into this expression Ka equal to the hydrogen ion concentration times the salt concentration over the acid concentration right so substitute the concentration of the salt Okay, the salt is 3 times 10 point 3 here over 0 0.07 dm cube because it's 20 plus 50. So it's 0 0.07 dm cube. Okay, over, okay, this is the mole of the salt. 2 times 10 point 3 over the 0 0.07 dm cube. So this one, eliminate. Okay, after that, rearrange, you get concentration of H plus is 2. Uh, 2.65 times 10 point negative 6 okay negative log this you get the ph which is 5.58 right that's all for this question thank you